Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another tutorial with me. Today we're going to talk about how to remove a double chin. Sometimes I get clients who um, say they have a double chin and they would like to have it removed in their photos and you absolutely want to know how to do this. It is imperative. So I've gone ahead and I've edited this image and the final step that I will do is remove the the double chin. Now she doesn't have a lot but this also works on someone who has more of a double chin. Um, so let's pretend this is our layer that we just finished editing on our top editing la layer. You want to duplicate that by just dragging this down to the piece of paper um, and creating a new layer. So I like to use the pen tool for this and what I will do is just go right over here select the pen tool if you don't know how to use the pen tool feel free to watch my YouTube video on how to use the pen tool and we're just gonna make a rough selection so I'm gonna just click here and not have to get any thing fancy done on those parts but here is where you want to get in close and select the part of the chin that you want to keep so I'm going to roughly select there and then move this down to wrap around the portion of the chin that I want to keep. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, let's just move this around just a touch here, right there. We don't need to do the whole cheek area, so let's just bring that back. And that is about what I want to keep. And then I will finish my selection here on the blue area and just cut her out. I just go around the edge of the photo, making sure I select this. We're actually going to select another portion of the photo. So don't worry about exacts. Now once you have your selection made in the pen tool, what you're going to do is go to paths and right click on the work path. And if you'd like to save this, you can just double click, name it, whatever you like. Click there, right click now again and make selection. I like to keep the radius at one pixel. It's soft enough that um, it doesn't look like you cut it out with scissors, um, but it's not so blurry that it starts to look like you've added depth of field to only her chin. So we're going to go with one pixel there, click OK. And now I actually want to have only the head selected. So I'm going to invert this shift command I for the Mac users. And I'm going to put this on another layer. So if you just hit command J or control J, that will put this on another layer that you have cut out. As you can see, when I turn off the visibility for the other layers, we only have her head in the blue background. So let's turn that back on. And finally, what I'm going to do is go to the move tool right here in the corner and then use my arrow key down to nudge her face down over the part, portion of the neck that I do not want. And there you have it. No double chin any longer. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for tuning in.